And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first deck on Rank Up Sunday. We're going to be playing Darius Thresh. We're going to be going back and replaying four decks that we did with, did well with this week. And all decks that I enjoyed playing and ones that I thought were pretty good. And ones that I'm pretty confident we can go 3-2 or better with. Doesn't mean that we will. But we're going to start with Darius Thresh. This is... Um, an aggressive deck with Stalking Shadows. This is a card that I've been talking about that is really awesome and particularly good whenever you get to get cards that um, have a nice uh, play effect. Hey, what's up, Mamba Man? With the, the sub for YouTube. Thank you, Mamba Man. Another great streamer and YouTuber that y'all need to check out. Mamba Man TV. All right, but we can get some, some uh, units that can deal some nexus damage with imperial demolitionist and doom beast um so you know that helps our aggressiveness um, but then of course we have like curse keeper blighted caretaker combo um, that's always a good one we have more nexus damage with noxion fervor and atrocity and of course we're just trying to kind of get them down to 10 because then we can have darius be a 10-6 and um you know be able to finish them off really fast especially with atrocity Thresh can help bring Darius along or just control the board for us. Make sure, you know, keep keep us from dying while our Nexus damage takes over. And then we also have Rekindler that can bring back Thresh or Darius if need be. So pretty good deck here. I like I like having Thresh in this deck. You know, there's there's a lot of other champions that we could play. But I like having Thresh because like the five mana slot, like there's not really other things to be doing. Where if you play like Draven or Callista, we have other good threes, especially now with Doom Beast. Uh, I like how it's just a, a real big body, kind of, um, kind of switches things up. So it's not just like, uh, it's not just like you have all aggro stuff. You like it's, it kind of throws a little curveball in of like an opponent trying to kill a bunch of small units, and then suddenly you have a three six. <clears throat> Curse Keeper is a little questionable. Here, Misfortune, Gangplank. I could see, you know, like, so we'll see if we can get Curse Keeper to die. I could definitely see them having, like, a Make It Rain. And Curse Keeper kind of punishing them for, for Make It Rain. Yeah, that's what I'm th Yeah, that's kind of how I feel, Dragon, is that... Um, basically, Thresh gets to control the board... And that's exactly what, what you want in a deck like this, being the ability to control the board. Um, not the best hand. Not the best draws, though, for our openers. I want to next turn... Okay, so next turn I want to play Hapless Aristocrat and Doom Beast together. Perfect. So I wanted the Warden's Prey... So I wanted to attack with the Warden's Prey, let it die to look for a blocker. Or look for just something to play this turn. That's a, a good fleet or a good petty officer. Fortune favors the bold. Good hand. Turn one precious pet. Turn two le uh, the Legion Grenadier. Turn three Petty Officer getting a Flea Feather Tracker. And then Misfortune. It's a good hand. We could really use Blighted Caretaker. Demolitionist isn't bad. Obviously, so I was planning on going Thresh, Challenge, Misfortune. And that's not a bad option. Otherwise, we could go Demolitionist, kill the Curse Keeper, and get a 4-3. So we get a 2-3 and a 4-3, and then also Doom Beast. I'm going to go Thresh.
Cool. Make it interesting for me. Killed the Curse Keeper. So the best case scenario was kill Curse Keeper, hit Thresh, and hit my Nexus. Then we'd still have the 1-1 one, one alive, but... <clears throat> that's alright, having the 1-1 one, one die. Ooh, that's a good card. Okay. We have handled their Onslaught pretty well. I think I'm going to play Thresh. I think it's still about controlling the board is what's important. Explosives primed. Oh, I mean, I guess I can just play this right now. Of course, the, pro the one problem with playing that right now is, like, Noxion Fervor. For the Empire. Well, if I yeah, now, now with the Atrocity, I wish I would've played Darius, right? Because if I would've played Darius, we'd be able to, like, get them under 10 and then Darius kill them. Two for Thresh. Dang. That was just ten straight... Ten Nexus damage they just had on me. All right, put him down to three. Now they can't have Noxion Fervor to kill me. I, of course, have the Atrocity. If they just go with, like, another Decimate, I have Atrocity in response. And so then afterwards, I had some breakfast burritos, just like the frozen breakfast burritos. Um, you know, from the grocery store, not, you know, just some cheap ones. And now my stomach is feeling pretty, uh, pretty meh. The problem is, like, all these things say Nightfall, but they're all good cards. Maybe I replace Doom Beast. We'll replace Doom Beast to get rid of one of the Nightfall cards. But I really like how Unspeakable Horror does replace itself and not only gets us the drain, but then also creates um, a new Nightfall card in hand. So it just kind of gives us that uh, card advantage against a deck with probably a lot of damage and a lot of removal. Oh, I never, I never uh, changed the camera settings. Let me do that real quick. Because I have to go in here and change the settings every day. Otherwise, it will start lagging. At least we figured out what to do to keep that from lagging. All right, there we go. Okay, Demolitionist. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Now drain this one one. Sweet. That's a great one. All right, so we both have five cards in hand, but we have a two one in play. So I feel like we're a little ahead, just slightly, but we both used all of our mana. Have five cards in hand. Lady Elise, where are you? I 
I could see them going Static Shock on the two one ones, and so I was thinking about maybe just going the once they pass turn to me, going with the Ravenous Butcher. Okay. They have one more card than we do, but of course we have the 3-2 and the 1-1 in play. Ooh, I love that card. So, I don't know. It's kind of hard to fight over the Nocturne Fervor first because they could just have all this other mana that does stuff. I, I like getting rid of one of the the Mystic Shots also. Now, I know I could go upstairs. Why wouldn't we go upstairs and try to level up Darius? It's a good question. Probably because Ezreal's how they win. Probably that's why. Empires are built upon action. Move. So instead of me doing this before attack, like if I would have done that, like while the Ezreal was attacking, and like let's just say they have another Mystic Shot, then they use the other Mystic Shot, kill my three two, and then they get the free Mystic Shot that they get to do something with that. So instead, we're just gonna let them have the free Mystic Shot. Now do this, so that Mystic Shot does nothing. And so now, if they have a new one, I mean, it's still the other one does nothing. And if they don't have the Mystic Shot, then, you know, or a removal spell, then we're okay. Um, I mean, it's definitely Doom Beast. Sorry, I was basically thinking, do I, do I play this first or just go to combat? Obviously, the play at first makes the Darius a 10-6, but then it gives them the opportunity to, like, Thermogenic be my Darius. I don't think I do. Hmm. All right. Sure. So that's at six now. Alright, so they're passing to me. I'll have nine mana next turn. Let's just see what this is all about. I just don't want to give them that free Mystic Shot. Harvey. Craze says, what deck archetype would you say is your specialty? I would probably say a mid-range, like mid-range is uh, going to be my specialty. Um, it's, especially with this game, Demacia decks. Alright, well this went terribly for me, of being patient. Really went poorly. Really went 
poorly. Time for the main event. I was afraid this day would come. Um either one, Christ Killer. Uh, for deck support, an, an elite deck or a Dawn Speaker deck. I mean, either one. Um, we had been playing some elites fairly recently. I got ways to find me mushrooms. So now they have one card I don't know about. I'm at seven life. They only have three. They only have three. Well, I guess to be at seven life. No. What a last card. What a last card. Okay. I think it makes sense to play to play everything out, honestly. If this is a three damage spell upstairs, then of course I lose, but that'll probably be the case anyway. I'm not really expecting a three damage spell upstairs with that. Wow. There's not... There's not a way I win this. Yeah, Ezreal can block a two health thing. I have to... I mean, I don't... I have to draw... Unspeakable Horror, but we've already played two Unspeakable Horrors. Oh, I guess we... Yeah, okay, so if we challenge this, challenge this. They have to block the three powers. Okay, so never mind. So yeah, we can't have... We can't have Ezreal... Force Ezreal to block a three power. Force that thing to block a three power. Okay, never mind. We're fine. They have Draven and Chumplump, and I have a 2-1 and a 2-3, so they're ahead, but I'm not dead. No, 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 no. I, I mean, it doesn't matter which, which order we block. That was pretty great, drawing two Puff Caps. Thanks, Dex. One point of damage. Not one point of damage. The chains, they never stop. It's better to kill the Warden's Prey, because then we'll get another attacker that's better than the 1-1, one, one, right? Because we could, could get, like, Legion Grenadier. Oh my gosh. Mentor of the Stones? That is cool. I hadn't seen Mentor the Stones this before. Remember, we do have the Shark Chariot now. Come on. I think I have to just go to attacks. I must get out of here. Because it's too risky. If I play Mentor the Stones, they can kill the Blighted Caretaker, and then I don't have... Then I don't get the Shark Chariot back anymore. That Static Shock was good. Alright, GG's. Shouldn't have been that close if I would have played out the turn that I didn't play out into that Mystic Shot. I should have played out. 
But anyway, Lux, Leona. We don't have like a ton of ways to kill our own Curse Keeper. I think we're going to mulligan that, and again, mulligan Doomblade just from the opener with us not really having... Like, Doomblade's a great card for later on, but it's not like a turn three play. So basically, we can kind of think of Doomblade as like... Or sorry, Doom Beast as like a four plus drop. And we don't really need to keep those in our hand. Alright, pick Shadow Isles or Freljord Elites. Let's see, I am going to pick... Which means they're going to have a good attack against me. Um, cool. Hmm. That's a tough one. Shadow Isles or Freljord Elites. Let's do the Shadow Isles, Craze Killer. Man, that card is awesome. So basically, we got rid of their one drop for free. Right, like we have the same number of cards that they do in hand, we just have an extra 2-3. Combine those two halves to take out one card. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Bask in the light's radiance. I'm just gonna turn you into a 2-2. Keep getting that Nexus damage in. They're down to 14. Even though we've only attacked them for two. Then we can find some Doom Beasts. We got Thresh, Darius. They got leveled up Leona. Oh, Craze, did you mean to do a deck uh, donation deck? Or did you want to do the deck support where where we just look at the deck and, and talk about it some and, and stuff like that? Or did you want did you want a donation deck? Mine is the hand of Nox. I could see them playing a daybreak card, stunning Darius. And then we just attack for two with like the Shade Stalker. Well, that's not a good Daybreak card. Maybe save this Apprehend and get them with that. Okay, the, yeah, the, if you look at the options, the donation deck, that one is usually 10,000 points. Clad in shining sunlight. Oh, when I said that's not a good Daybreak card, I was talking about their, their Sunburst that was killing my Thresh. I was saying that's not a good card basically for us because they were killing my Thresh. I didn't mean like it's not a good card as in it's not playable. That's not a good card for us because they're killing my thrash. <clears throat> We're just going to keep on chipping away. See? Pretty big numbers. It's going to stun a couple of things, so, so much for me having that blocker. Um, which one of you two do I want to have block? Probably Warden's Prey. The chains, they never stop. Feel the sun's glory. 
then if they would have played like another Daybreak card and stunned again, I would just play the Hapless Aristocrat over the Doom Beast. Just leave me alone! I'm sorry, these weekend mornings, these other people are out doing stuff and Harvey has to talk about it. I guess. But you know, I don't even know if I want Hapless Aristocrat to take up space. But I guess we're for we force them to have another Daybreak card. Mine is the I guess we force them to. Your command, General Darius. Behold the sun's holy light. Whatever the cost. Now they're playing Lux. Leona and Lux. That's a good one. Alright, so I guess we don't have to worry about single combat, but then Concerted Strike. Gotta worry about that one. Um, so I don't think we just throw away Darius immediately. If I play Thresh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six mana still, so I wouldn't have Apprehend mana. But we have Atrocity Mana. I guess Hush isn't... No, Hush wouldn't do anything. This is what Demacia brings against Noxus. I've seen more than my share of trouble. So I don't think they have anything. I don't think there's anything at two mana now. Single combat about is about all there is. I mean, they're going to be attacking anyway. I'm just going to let them attack because maybe they just spend their other two mana while they're attacking for some reason. Strength. Devotion through battle. Fear not death. Routes closed. I think it's just single combat. There's like the two mana heal two card. A gain two life card in Targon. Yep. There we go. Rank up Sunday. Moving right along. Three and O. Oh. Moving right along. Alright, Karma Ezreal. Don't see a ton of Karma Ezreal. Rap Trap! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, Karma Ezreal. Uh, definitely love Stalking Shadows. Demolitionist is cool. Glimpse Beyond's pretty cool. Um, but obviously we need other units, but we got the Stalking Shadows to find other units. That's a kind of a nice combination of, of Stalking Shadows getting us an Ephemeral, and then Glimpse Beyond draw the cards. I also just like Glimpse Beyond against Ezreal, because they need to target your units to level up Ezreal, and so if you sacrifice your unit, then they don't get to target it. But Rap Trap, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate that. All right, we got some good card advantage. We got four cards that are all like draw twos. So that's pretty good. We'll start with this Curse Keeper. See if they want to target this one. Could pass the turn back and have them waste two mana, but it's just two mana. It's probably better to do this. Make the Empire proud. Okay. Alright, I will draw my two. Go right 
right two attacks and hit him for two. Clear it out. I like our hand so much. Card advantage in this hand. Triple Stalking Shadows, double Glimpse Beyond. Unspeakable Horror could do its thing. And I look at their hand like, I don't, I don't want to kill any of this stuff. Within. Okay. There is a pretty big difference between two and three health as far as Demolitionist on my Demolitionist. I don't really want to do that, therefore. All right, so one of our one drops. Um, Warden's Prey is going to be better. Oh, nothing. You know what? Let's just pass. Right? Nah. What does he want from me? So next turn, turn five. Five mana. Should have passed. They would have wasted two mana. They're just slow playing me. Really? Double hapless aristocrat? Triple hip hapless aristocrat? The card's not even good. The card is even good. That egg. I don't need three of them. I wanted to see what we could get. So our one Stalking Shadows turned into basically like six one ones. I guess technically like five one ones. Because one just died immediately, automatically. Ready yourself. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I should probably save Noxion Fervor for Ezreal, where they're at 2 out of 8 for Ezreal. I don't like them getting these Draglings, though. Yeah, I, d I don't like them getting these Draglings. We're just going to kill this thing. Alright, they're down to 12. You are the many. And I'm going to pass. We could Stalking Shadows this turn, or we could just Stalking Shadows the next turn. Ooh, good pass. Because then we drew, you know, like we probably would not have drawn that Unspeakable Horror if we would have. Uh, yeah, because we would have shuffled our deck. They probably don't have units to use Unspeakable Horror on. I don't know, maybe I guess they have that, that thing. They, of course, can have, like, Will of Ionia, Concussive Palm, Steel Tempest, that kind of stuff, or, like, an open attack, but force them to have that kind of stuff. So they have not played a spell yet. <laughs> we're, we're trying to rank up Statefulness. We are 3-0 on the day. Can't complain about that. Your lesson begins. They should be blocking hapless aristocrat, not you spiderling. Like I would, I, if I'm them, I'm blocking both hapless aristocrats and just having my board filled with one ones, then I can't like play other things. All right, just gonna let damage happen. Play this ephemeral curse keeper, let it die.
Uh, it's just fast speed. I guess I won't know what's going to happen with that. Okay, do I want a Noxion Fervor? No, we'll just hold on to Noxion Fervor. They played Will of Ionia, now Mystic Shots. So they would be getting a Dragling. Cool. Another one of those gone. And now... I'm going to wait till next turn for the Crescent Guardian. What's my next turn? Darius, Crescent Guardian? Pass? Keep three mana up? Keep three mana up for Noxion Fervor. Yeah, we have the Undying in this deck. We had the Undying last, last game. Um, you know, Warden's Prey makes our Undying for us. So we have that card. Oh, they play, they play very slow. World's a big place. Let's see all of it. I'm not sure if that means it's just a Noxion Fervor. Try to kill Ezreal. Again, I'm just going to wait. Whatever I try to Noxion Fervor, it's just very likely that they just kill in response. This time they're already at 10. I'm gonna just fight over Ezreal instead of hitting their Nexus. Okay, great. No way. I wish I had two more mana and I could kill that little 1 1 2. Attack. They're rummaging quite a bit. That's gonna do it. Four and no. We have done well. Noxus is proud. I don't know if this is the same opponent from before, but again we're gonna be playing um, Lux Leona. Alright, well. I like the Curse Keeper into Demolitionist. That worked out pretty well last time. Um, I don't know about Glimpse Beyond. They're not really killing our stuff that much. And of course, Thresh is just pretty good, being a champion and stuff. Well, Ravenous Butcher makes our turn two a little better. Just having the attack token on turn two, we can go Curse Keeper into Butcher. The Butcher just trades their Solari Soldier. We'll see if they have the shield bearer. If they have the shield bearer, it wouldn't be that enticing to go butcher, but I guess it's still better to go butcher than anything else. Because the butcher's not going to do anything. You know, like the butcher has to kill the curse keeper. It's not going to do anything besides that. No mercy for heretics. Sixteen. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. If they don't break... All right, so Lari Priestess is pretty small. So this puts him down to 14. I think we just... Did, uh, yeah, turn four. Probably just go straight to attacks. Let's do this first and just see what's up. Cursed Keeper. They block the 4-2, go down to 12. Yuck. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Faith. 
Never mind, 17, not 12. All right, nice little combo. Get the ephemeral. Sacrifice it, draw two. Nice little combo there. Our sun will not set today. There's nowhere to hide. So I'm gonna be going right to attacks again. Challenge. Try to get all this damage in. I think that's better than playing Darius first. Like if I go Darius first, what's their best play? Like what are they doing? Like Lux? And Darius gets over Lux. Um, but then they'd have like Lux block like the 4-3. And then they would take 12 down to 5. Um, Leona. Yeah, Leona would be best play. That's true. That's true. That's true. If I go Darius and they go Leona, that would be a nightmare. Good call. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's my plan is to kind of keep their blocker count down. They single combat. Blech. Thresh dying, of course, is not bad for me because we have Rekindler. So I'm okay with that, I suppose. What once was two now is one. Return to us. Rekindle a new. Evening glows. They have to attack with the Silver Sister, right? Or the Golden Sister? I guess not. Oh, uh, what a great draw. Do, do, do. Nope. Alright, 2 2, 2 3, 4 1, 4 3, 4 4. Get over here. Life steal. We have no quarrel. Power before our might. That's what I was kind of saying that they kind of had to attack with the Golden Sister to gain life before this, but then of course I could have blocked with the Thresh, but they would at least go to nine. But then I don't know. But then I get to challenge something else. So but they have to have like concerted strike, single combat, that kind of stuff. I guess judgment could be a thing. So there's a concerted strike. They already played one single combat. Alright, GG's. That's a 5-0. Let's go. We got another 5-0 here. Darius Thresh. Getting it down. This deck's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. The Apprehend is wasn't really good for us. Honestly, it wasn't. I wish it was, but it's it's a little bit gimmicky. It wasn't very good, but still just Thresh was awesome, just being a big, large unit. Because, you know, like, this, this deck, like, we're getting our chip shot damage in and all that kind of stuff, and, like, the game is about um, my opponent trying to stabilize, and then, boom, we have this just huge board presence with the 3-6. And then Darius, another huge board presence. Makes it difficult with those. Atrocity did a good job finishing out games for us. Um, one Rekindler is just fine, you know, for those slower matches. I think one is good. I don't really want any more than that. But these new cards, Unspeakable Horror and Stalking Shadows, are so great.
Those cards are awesome. And then Demolitionist and Doom Beast to give you a lot of reach. Curse Keeper was awesome. You know, being the 4-3 all the time. Pretty cool little deck here. Pretty good little deck. Um, as a one of this is just a finisher. I don't. I mean, that's like kind of what our rekindler is. Like we have atrocity and rekindler. I think these are good finishers. Um, I mean, Noxifer was great too, but I I haven't liked this apprehend. This isn't really a finisher. Those other cards are finishers. Um, this apprehend should probably be a removal spell, like a Death's Hand or a Culling Strike. I could see it. I could definitely just see it being a Culling Strike that can take down, you know, like opposing like a Swain that's not leveled up yet, or an Ezreal, um, or a Neverglade Collector, or whatever. Um, should probably be a Culling Strike. That apprehends a little silly. Uh, but everything else was good. Definitely good. Could play a Fading Memories. If you want, as another card to help enable Nightfall, um, you know, like if you don't, if you don't want to play Culling Strike for some reason, you could play Fading Memories. Um, could play like a Bark Beast, but uh, yeah, Hapless Aristocrat's not really that good, but it does help out. It does help like your Imperial Demolitionist and Blighted Caretaker be better cards. Like without Hapless Aristocrat, Blighted Caretaker has you know less targets. And you want to make sure it has a good enough, good a good number of targets. Um, but as far as just aggro wise, onlooker would be a lot better. But it's it's kind of good to have the the things die, get another body, and of course that card works well with Thresh uh, also. Yeah, we played whenever we played this deck last time. We had two apprehends. And for some reason, we only had two Doom Beast. And I remember at the end of the last video, I was like, get rid of one of the apprehends, get a third Doom Beast in here. And now even this video, the apprehends just weren't the only the only time we had apprehend it was not good. It was just two mana stun something slow speed, and that's it. You know, getting the rally is pretty difficult. Um, I would recommend just having Culling Strike. All right. Anyway, that's it here for Darius Thresh. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Um, but uh, if you're gonna try this deck out yourself. Let me know how it goes. Hopefully you do. Hopefully it works out pretty well. But uh, that's it here for 5-0 Darius Thresh. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.